All right, today we're going to take a look at spiral, a sequencer that's part of reactor. It doesn't make any music. All it does is output MIDI, but it's great for sequencing with other synthesizers. So we're going to load up Reaper, or reactor, I should say. I'm using Re Reaper. Now we're going to choose an instrument that we want to sequence. I'm going to choose Spark from the player menu. I'm going to click on this icon here. And I'm sorry for those of you who have reactor player only, this won't work. You have to have the full version of reactor. So I'm going to click in the structure. And we have spot, uh, Spark. And if you want to see what Spark looks like, you can double click and it's got lots of stuff in there. Now we're going to go to the factory settings. Now everybody has this. So even if you don't have Spark, you can use it with any other of these synthesizers that are in here. So we're going to go to the factory settings, the instruments, not the ensembles. There's a big difference. You can't load the ensemble one up. It won't work here. Go to sequencers and select spiral. Drag it in here. You get a warning when you're using a DAW that you've changed things. Don't worry about it unless you particularly want to save the ensemble. Don't think it's necessary. There we go. No connections necessary yet. We go back to the panel and here we have spiral on the left and we've got spark over on the right. So we go over to Reaper, hit the space bar, and it starts playing away. And I was playing with this earlier, so we're going to pick, I think it was number five here. A little better sound. So no sound, though. Why not? This is the important part of using this in Reactor like this. Go up to this button, your Properties button. See where it says Spiral here? We don't want to see that. So come over here. Click somewhere in Spark, up toward the header is a good spot. Spark is on here. We go to Connect. We go from Internal Instruments, and we select Spiral. Now when we hit Play, Spiral is now sending MIDI data to Spark. If your creative mind isn't going yet, it should be. You could use this with any instrument in Reactor, and not only in Reactor, but I'll show you another neat little t tip, trick, whatever you want to call it. Let's exit out of this for now. Now your DAW may be a little bit different. I'm using Reaper, and what I'm going to do is select MIDI input. So we're going to make this a MIDI track. Reaper doesn't distinguish between audio and MIDI. All tracks are the same. Depends on what your input is and what the items are. In Reaper, if you want to record MIDI that's coming in from a effects like that, click on this, and you would think Record MIDI would do the trick. That will not work. You have to go to Record Output, select Record Output MIDI, arm the track, press Record. go. We've got the MIDI data that was produced by Spiral is now a part of what's well, a track in Reaper. And there's the data, complete with the velocity information, note information, and everything. What you can do with this, even if you don't have the full version of Reactor, you can still record the data. Just load Spiral in, don't even need another instrument and go through the process of recording like we just did, and you'll get this. Then we can go in here. We're going to disable Reactor for now. We're going to add in, first one I see, FM8. And let's choose some drums, maybe. Give you a little idea of what you can do with drums. Where's a good one here? Don't know what this will sound like.
if your instrument in this case has a very slow attack you're not going to get much out of this because the sequence is too fast but you, but you could always adjust your attack in there so now your brain should be thinking of any instrument that you have could be loaded in there and likewise with instead of using spark you could use any of the synthesizers that come with reactor any of the ensembles tons of stuff so i hope that's a nice tip for you get your brain thinking about some possibilities that you may not have thought of please subscribe to the channel if you're looking for sheet music i've got about 400 titles or so available at my website for download for free jamesgilbertmusic.com I'm also on iTunes, Google Play, CD Baby, Spotify, and others if you want to hear some of my recordings. Thanks for watching.